The stocks discussed on Phil's Gang are not in any way a recommendation or solicitation to buy, sell, or hold. If considering acting on information presented, we first recommend you seek out a competent, licensed professional for advice. Get ready for the radio show that tells you what Wall Street doesn't want you to know. Oh, I'm a money magnet. Money, money, money's coming to me. Money sets me free. I'm a money magnet. your daily dose of how to manage your money. And now it's time for Phil's Gang on the Off the Wall Street Radio Network with your host, Phil Grandy. But at the end of the day, we've had a lot of really strong earnings. It's been a great earnings season. That's what's driving the market higher. You sound insane. Do you realize that? You should be mad. It depends on how you're looking at, the, at, at earnings. If you look at the mag, we looked at this this weekend. If you look at the mag seven earnings for the mag seven in the first in the fourth quarter were up 59 percent roughly. For the S and P 493, they're actually down uh, by about three percent. Here we are at these incredible levels. How reliant are we on rate cuts, and is that why we're here? I think that's part of the story, and it's not just rate cuts, but the fact that the economy is doing so well, inflation is coming down. Lie detector test determined that was a lie. And a lie it was. Isn't it unbelievable? Prices are coming down, the economy is really doing well. Well, that's not the truth. If you went out to buy an, a, a Toyota Tundra Pro, you paid $54,000 in 2021. Today you're paying 77000 for the exact same car. That's a 43% increase. As your salary's going up, as your wages going up 43%, this guy's a liar. Unbelievable. And, I mean, this is, I mean, this is unbelievable. Also, household debt, record high, $17 trillion housing debt, student loans, $1.6 trillion credit card. These are all records. $1 trillion. People are just in debt up to their ears. Auto loans, $1.6 trillion. Repos on auto loans today, as of today, 27-year high. And he's saying the economy's doing good. What's he looking at? Jobs, a record 5 million Americans hold two jobs, two jobs. We never had that before. He's saying the economy's doing good. Really? So the delinquencies in auto, delinquencies in credit card are incredibly high. Uh, they, they've increased more than at any other 15-year period, breaking a 27-year record high. And uh, as I said, repossessions are at a, at a high. Uh, the average auto, by the way, is upside down. If you went to sell it, you're in a whole $8,000. Savings have dropped from 30% during COVID to a rate to average of about 6%. Now, earnings are uh, savings are now negative, negative. Now, if I don't do it by uh, a after uh, your, uh, uh, what do they call it? after all your expenses, yeah, you'd be at like one and a half, two percent. But who, but that's no way to rate how well your savings are. I mean, you gotta you, if you're gonna look at someone's savings, see how well the economy's doing with savings, you gotta take away. First, all their disposable income. So after disposable income, after you pay all your taxes, all your bills, everything you need to keep a household up, pay all those. What's left is your savings is now negative. And household wealth has dropped 22% since 2022. 22%. These people are just born liars. It's unbelievable. Yeah, consumers are telling us they're spending two times more than their income. Yeah, because it's being subsidized by credit cards. Credit cards. By the way, I, I want to skip around a little bit today because we have a rotation going on today. And I told my gang members this would happen. We got a rotation going on. Everybody keeps on getting into the same stocks. The same stocks for the last three years. right? At least three years. NVIDIA and Meta. Well, here's what's going on right now. If you take a look at NVIDIA, they're taking money out of the big tech stocks now. And I, do, I knew this was going to happen because, remember, when you you watch your 10-year treasury rate, your yield, it's a 4.17. Big tech does terrible, 
terrible when yields are up. When yields are up above 2%, they do terrible. We're above 4% because, remember, large tech companies have a lot. They need a lot of money for research and development, except for Apple, of course. But the majority of them need a lot of money. they got to borrow a lot of money. And the rates right now are at 4.17. But nobody cared because what was happening is even though rates were going up, tech stocks, the same two tech stocks kept going up. The same, I'm sorry, the same four tech stocks kept going up every day. The same four. Nobody cared. Well, now they're starting to care because the smart money's pulling their money out. Now, if you look at NVIDIA and you put that against Wells Fargo, what happened? Wells Fargo's going up today. NVIDIA's not going up today. If I take Meta, Meta's flat today. Matter of fact, it's been flat for the three, last uh, three, four, six trading days. But look at Goldman Sachs. Bam, that went up today. Microsoft going down today. But look at oil. Even oil. Oxy is going up today. Uh, even uh, oil service group, the ETF for oil services, are up today. While Microsoft is down, NVIDIA, again, coming down. But discretionary stocks, stuff you don't need. Ford is up big today. But NVIDIA is down, and so aren't all the other tech stocks, all down. But discretionary, Ford's going up. Las Vegas Sands Hotel, going up. Amazon, the big winner, going down. But Hogg, Harley-Davidson, big move in the last two trading days. Big move. You see what's going on here? Now, here's the real problem. The banks. The banks are the problem. When the banks, again, the banks lead the stock market. They've always led the stock market. You see, you have your banks. Your banks lead. They push up your S&P 500 stocks. And then your S&P 500 pushes up your favorite stock. When you pull the banks out from underneath, they're the foundation. Everything crumbles. So the crack is beginning for the big crash. Here's why. Because... The, once the banks, you start seeing the banks start crumbling, okay? First, now what they're doing is they're rotating money out of tech into the banks. But that's not going to last long because the banks are all in big, deep trouble because we never fixed the banks. You know, the only, the only time we ever fixed the banks, we go back to the crash of 1932 and 33. Roosevelt was smart when he came into office. He didn't fix the banks. He didn't bail the banks out. He was smart. In other words, why bail the banks out? Why bail anybody out? you got to let the strong survive and the weak go away. And the banks, not only did Roosevelt turn around and he, got, he wouldn't help the banks, and all the banks that went under, the, the banks that remained got stronger they were the good banks that remained. You want, to, you want to keep your good banks. And then you take all the assets from the bad banks, give them to the ones who survived. They become stronger. That's how the country used to work all the time until we started this QE with Obama. With Obama and Bernanke. Remember, it's Obama who started QE. QE. That's right. It was illegal. And then remember... Reagan brought it back only for a very short period of time because he knew the danger of QE. Because the danger of QE, you get addicted to it. In other words, once your banks are going down, the whole economy goes down. So to do QE where you print money and you go in and, and, and print all this money and you go to the banks, instead of letting them go down, you go in and say, here, let me, I'm going to give you money, but you give me all your uh, garbage, your mortgages, and, and your treasuries. I'll take all the crap that's worth nothing. I'll give you 100 cents on a dollar, even though they're worth one cent on a dollar. When you start doing that, then you're, you're, you're building a crash. You're building into a crash. It may take years, but we're getting there. Want more information on this show? Go to philsgang.com or give them a call at 877-600-GANG. Phil Grandy 
has successfully taught tens of thousands of investors how to navigate the market with confidence. Hi, I'm Phil Grant at philsgang.com. That's right, philsgang.com. Join my gang for 10 days. It's free. If anything, during that 10-day period, you're going to learn how the market really works. You're going to find information that you never had before. You're going to walk away and go, ah, I didn't know that. So join my gang for 10 days free, philsgang.com. And you're also going to learn how to make money when the market goes down. It's kind of silly just sitting there with the market going down, hoping. Why hope when you can sell short and make money? Either way, you make money when the market goes up, you make money when the market goes down. That's the benefit of Phil's gang. You make money. Become a Phil's gang member and receive the training, advice, and software that will take your investing to the next level. Phil'sGang.com. Sign up free for 10 days. What does it take to be a successful investor in the stock market? Developing your skills and learning from an expert like Phil Grandy and Phil'sGang.com. It doesn't have to be hard or complicated to learn how to invest in stocks properly. It's like anything else. You're going to golf. You're going to learn how to play tennis, ski. You need to be with someone. Learn off of them one-on-one. -on -one. Now, that can be really expensive. Cost thousands of dollars. But... I have a program that you can join for 10 days free. Go to philsgang.com and sign up for a free 10-day trial. Phil Grandy has developed tools to teach you how to invest in stocks properly. Not only when to buy stocks, but how to sell stocks short. 85% of people in the market lose money. Get out of that group by just joining Phil's Gang. Now you can learn to invest like a pro with a pro. Phil Grandy. Take advantage of this special offer for a free 10-day trial at philsgang.com. Try it. 10 days free. That's philsgang.com. philsgang.com. There's a lot of noise out there in the financial world. Bank failures, interest rates, bonds versus stocks. It's a lot. That's why it's important to find a voice of reason that can guide you through these volatile times. Phil Grandy and philsgang.com is where you can find honest, helpful guidance to successful investing. Get the knowledge and understand how the market really works. And for a limited time, you can join Phil's Gang free for 10 days. philsgang.com. That's philsgang.com. At St. Jude Children's Research Hospital, we're fighting against childhood cancer every day. At the heart of this battle are our donors. Most of us want to make some type of difference in the lives of others. St. Jude does miraculous work. The fact that no one has to pay, it's a place where everyone is treated as an equal. Everybody is welcome here. And it doesn't matter your religion or what part of the world you're from. All that is taken away. It just gives you some hope. It's just a nice feeling to put your energy into something that really does genuinely make a difference in a child's life. There's just no greater gift. If we have the ability to help, then we have a responsibility to help. Finding Cures, Saving Children. St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Find out how you can help at stjude.org. Why are investors listening to Phil Grandy of philsgang.com? You know why people listen to my show? Because I make it simple. When you talk about the stock market, they make it so complicated. I make it easy to understand. For the average investor, the Main Street investor, most of the time, these guys, like they're talking to each other. We talk directly to you and we listen to you. Invest better. With the sound advice of Phil Grandy at philsgang.com. What does it take to be a successful investor in the stock market? Developing your skills and learning from an expert like Phil Grandy and philsgang.com. It doesn't have to be hard or complicated to learn how to invest in stocks properly. It's like anything else. You're going to golf. You're going to learn how to play tennis, ski. You need to be with someone. Learn off of them one-on-one. -on -one. Now, that can be really expensive. Cost thousands of dollars. But I have a program that you can join for 10 days free. Go to philsgang.com and sign up for a free 10-day trial. Phil Grandy has developed tools to teach you how to invest in stocks properly. Not only when to buy stocks, but how to sell stocks short. 85% of people in the market lose money. Get out of that group by just joining Phil's gang. Now you can learn to invest like a pro with a pro. Phil Grandy. Take advantage of this special offer for a free 10-day trial at philsgang.com. Try it. 10 days free. That's philsgang.com. philsgang.com.
Welcome back. Are you ready to make profits in the stock market? Why not check out philsgang.com or give us a call at 877-600-4264. Now, here's Phil. And welcome back to Phil's Gang. I told my members that we'll know in 24 hours whether this is a rotation or a head fake. Because the big problem I'm looking at right now is volume. Volume is terrible. We trade about 80 million shares a day. Right now, we're down about 33, 34 million. That's horrible. So what that does, that means it's easy, okay, to move a stock up. The market makers can go in and squeeze the shorts. Just keep moving the price up, move the price up to squeeze them, okay? When there's 80 million, they can't do that. They can't squeeze the short. The short don't sit there, gee, I better get out. I better get out and be in squeeze. When there's light volume, they can play a game. So one day doesn't make a trend. But right now, it's looking like this is a solid rotation. Now, if it's a solid rotation to the banks, this is going to be a disaster. It will be the crack. It will be the crack in the dam that brings us to a 50 to 60% crash. Because remember what's hitting us in March, the banks. Look, we get, let's go back and, and, and understand what the hell is going on, okay? We've been lied to so much. Most people don't have any idea what's going on. Remember, the clock always comes back to 12. You can kick it, stomp it, bury it. It'll always come back to 12. What won't it? Well, the current rally from 2008 to 2024, that's almost, what, 17 years, 16-year rally. Think about it. We've had about a 16-year rally. 16 year. We were only supposed to have QE. Obama said, and Biden said we were going to, Bernanke said we were only going to have it for a year or less. We're on what now, 17 years? So we've had continuous QE. Now, let's talk about this for a moment. So, remember, that's from 19, 2008 to 2024. Now, we have a lot of similarities to the crash of 1920 to 1929. They look the same. So, what happened is this, is that when you take <coughs> the banks and the banks start failing, that's your whole economy. That's it, right there. That's your whole economy. So when the banks were failing after 2008, and Bernanke and Obama printed massive amount of money, okay, first they printed about 90 to $125 million, okay, a week to go in and buy treasuries from the banks, and to buy the, uh, their mortgages, especially subprime mortgages, because they're all broke. They should have let them go. And remember, before that, it was baby Bush's fault. He should have let those banks go down, just like they did after the, uh, 32 and the 33, 1932, 33. They let the banks go down, the ones that were bad, and, and it made a strong country. What we did... Oh, the Bush family's in banking, so the Bush family wasn't going to let the banks go down. Obama comes into office, and he has to be tight with Wall Street, the Wall Street bankers, so they put him in office. So they decided to let's bail the banks out. That's a terrible thing, bailing people out. an awful thing. You pay for an inflation, maybe five years, 10 years, 15 years, but at one point, it creates the bubble. Bubbles are man-made. Remember, they're man-made. And by creating this massive bubble, first starting with baby Bush, he wouldn't let the banks go down. Obama comes in, and he wouldn't let the banks go down. Instead, they print massive, massive amount of money to go and take all the crap out of the banks, replenish it with new money, and so you got these banks that should be going down are now propped up. Once they did that, the next move, print more money, print more money, more QE. Go in now to the print money, take all the money, go to, go to the bond auction, buy all the treasuries. That will push the 10-year treasury from 5%, okay, down, down to 1%. So now you can start a housing boom. You see what's going on here? 
That's how you create inflation. The other day, the president was talking about how companies were screwing us with our popcorn. And here, listen, this is what he said. This is so misleading. Listen to this here. Shrink, shrinkflation, he calls it. If you're anything like me, you like to be surrounded by a snack or two while watching the big game. You know, when buying snacks for the game, you might have noticed one thing. Sports drinks bottles are smaller. A bag of chips is fewer chips, but they're still charging it just as much. And as an ice cream lover, what makes me the most angry is that ice cream cards have actually shrunk in size, but not in price. I've had enough of what they call shrinkflation. It's a ripoff. Some companies are trying to pull a fast one by shrinking the products little by little and hoping you won't notice. Give me a break. The American public... Stop. Stop. Just stop the lying. Stop. They're not doing that to be mean, to be sneaky. They didn't cause it. He caused it. And it first started out with his, when he was vice president with Obama. When they print money. When you print money and you can cause interest rates to go down. Interest rates to go down. And everything's wonderful. You go buy a house. You go buy a, a wave runner. You can go buy skateboards. Anything's cheap you go buy because the interest rates are low. But house prices go up. Everything goes up. Houses flipping back and forth, flipping back and forth, because rates were so low. There was so much demand for housing, they were begging carpenters and drywallers and come work for me. Uh, instead of paying you 20 an hour, I'll pay you 40 an hour. What happens when that happens? What's the result? Everything starts going up. People have more money. They go to Home Depot. They buy more shovels, more brooms. Well, if you're buying more shovels and more brooms and you own Home Depot, you're the manager, and you don't have enough brooms and shovels, what do you do? You raise the price. Well, you do the same thing in a supermarket with potato chips. The people who make the potato chips, why are they putting half the potato chips in the bag? Because there's inflation. Who caused the inflation? This nitwit did, because he created the inflation. He's the one that created it, not us. That's why the bag half filled. Want more information on this show? Go to philsgang.com or give them a call at 877-600-GANG. When the stock market is volatile, how do you invest intelligently? Hi, I'm Phil Grandy at philsgang.com. There's no need for you to be panicking in a market that goes up 800 points one day, 700 points, then it goes down again. All you need is good advice, need good direction. You don't get that from your CNBC and the Fox business and all these crazy shows. You don't. Here's what you get from them. <laughs> Thank you, Jim Cramer. But this is something that this really bugs me. Listen to this. Our responsibility begins and ends with our partners and our shareholders, and that's it. What? Their responsibility is to their partners and shareholders and not to you? Check my site out, philsgang.com. When the stock market is up one day and down the next, you need the experience of Phil Grandy at philsgang.com. What a difference it makes in your financial life. philsgang.com. It works. Phil Grandy has successfully taught tens of thousands of investors how to navigate the market with confidence. Hi, I'm Phil Grandy, philsgang.com. That's right, philsgang.com. Join my gang for 10 days. It's free. If anything, during that 10-day period, you're going to learn how the market really works. You're going to find information that you never had before. You're going to walk away and go, ah, I didn't know that. So join my gang for 10 days free, philsgang.com. And you're also going to learn how to make money when the market goes down. It's kind of silly just sitting there with the market going down, hoping. Why hope when you can sell short and make money? Either way, you make money when the market goes up, you make money when the market goes down. That's the benefit of Phil's Gang. You make money. Become a Phil's Gang member and receive the training, advice, and software that will take your investing to the next level. Phil'sGang.com. Sign up free for 10 days. Want good investing advice from someone you can trust? 
Listen to Phil Grandy. With what's going on today in the economy, especially the stock market, it gets really complicated, but it doesn't have to be. My job is to make it simple, to get through the fog. And I think I do that, and I think I do a pretty good job of that, especially why you should be buying a stock, or why you should be in the market, or not in the market, or shorting. Invest wisely with the knowledge of Phil Grandy at Phil's Gang. What does it take to be a successful investor in the stock market? Developing your skills and learning from an expert like Phil Grandy and Phil'sGang.com. It doesn't have to be hard or complicated to learn how to invest in stocks properly. It's like anything else. You're going to golf. You're going to learn how to play tennis, ski. You need to be with someone. Learn off of them one-on-one. Now, that can be really expensive. Cost thousands of dollars. But I have a program that you can join for 10 days free. Go to Phil'sGang.com and sign up for a free 10-day trial. Phil Grandy has developed tools to teach you how to invest in stocks properly. Not only when to buy stocks, but how to sell stocks short. 85% of people in the market lose money. Get out of that group by just joining Phil's gang. Now you can learn to invest like a pro with a pro. Phil Grandy. Take advantage of this special offer for a free 10-day trial at philsgang.com. Try it. 10 days free. That's philsgang.com. philsgang.com. Are you a stock market investor without all the information? What are you nuts? Market's going up. Market's going down. We're getting all this bad information. How do you invest intelligently? Phil Grandy can show you. If you want real information and you really want to know what the market's going to do and you want the truth, Go to my site, philsgang.com, and also listen to me on my radio show every weekday at 3 o'clock Eastern. Phil's got the answers at philsgang.com. That's philsgang.com where you get the truth and you get the information you need about the market. When making wise investment decisions, Phil Grandy has some sound reasons you should join Phil's gang. You know, when I started this, they asked me, okay, can you explain to people why they should join the gang? Gee, I thought about that. And I guess to make money. But more than that, to get good direction on which way the economy's really going. We get so much crap, so many lies, how great the economy is and how great the tech business is, and when it's not. The problem is we have too many people in Washington and in this industry that just don't tell the truth. The truth is everything. And here at Phil's Gang, we stick with the facts. We tell the truth. We make sure our members okay are getting the best information and our listeners like you we make that information available to you and make it simple and understandable good investing means understanding how the stock market works join today at philsgang.com welcome back learn invest and make profits with phil grandy simply go to philsgang.com now, here's Phil. And welcome back to Phil's Gate. Yeah, I should apologize to the president because he doesn't know. I'm being too hard on him. He doesn't know. This guy's never held a job in his life. For 50 years, he's been sucking off you and I, getting a paycheck every week. Never worked a day in his life. He doesn't know how the economy works. Somebody's always taking care of him. We put a guy in office that's never been in business. So he doesn't know. He doesn't get it. I could sit and explain to him. He still wouldn't get it, even if he had all his marbles together, okay? He wouldn't get it because it's pretty simple what's been happening. And we let it go for 17 years, and the ending is going to be horrible because for 17 years— the more, every time you go and bail out a business, bail out a bank, bail out a person like we did during COVID, bail out small businesses, people didn't have to pay their student loans, we're bailing out everybody. That's not free. That's inflation. We have to print that money. So going to his bag potato chips or a car right now is costing you about $12,000 more than it did two years ago. It's not the company's fault. Because, again, it's Barack Obama's fault and Biden, vice president of Barack Obama's fault. Baby Bush fault. Because instead of fixing things, they put a Band-Aid over it after 2008. So when you go in and you print gobs of money to, again, 
make sure you go and buy treasuries to bring interest rates down. But the first thing you do it, the first purpose, is to go to the banks that are letting close down and take all the assets, give it to the strong banks, so the strong, those banks get stronger, the economy gets stronger. We destroy our economy from within by taking a crappy bank that's broke, and we go in and say, here, let us buy your garbage, a bank that it was bad managed, bad management. Let's go take, we're going to save you. You're, you're a stupid man, you don't know how to manage your bank, we're going to save you. We're going to take all your garbage mortgages, your garbage treasures not worth anything. We're going to give you 100 cents on a dollar. Now you got new money. We put you back into business. You, you stupid person, you. We're going to put you back. You dope. We're going to put you back in business. That's what, we, that's what they do. Put them back in business. Instead of taking care of the success, make them stronger. When you do that, the next thing you do, now the banks are back in business. Now what do you do? You create another crime. You go print more money, more money to get interest rates down even further. To take the Fed rate itself, bring it down from 5% to zero. Bring your 10-year treasury from 5% down to one. Now what do you do? Now that the, you give the money to the banks again. And you tell the banks, go to your favorite companies and save the CEOs. Tell them you're going to buy all of their, uh, you're going to give them all this money. Give them all this money, free, interest-free. Now they can buy their own shares to push their own stock price up without profits. Prosperity without profits. This is all inflation. That's all this is. Anybody can think about this. It's easy. It's easy. I never finished high school. I'm not proud of that. But I, I figured it out. It's pretty stupid. You're saving people who shouldn't be saved. And you're, and you're putting all the burden on us who work hard. You're making us pay for this. So you go to the grocery store and the bags have, have half the potato chips. I'm angry. Not at the manufacturer. I'm angry at the dope that came up with the idea. Came up with the stupid idea of QE. Go in and save the bank. So you can go and save these, the bank's no good. Now you're going to save the bank that's no good to go save the companies that are no good. So you keep printing money and give money to everybody. It's like giving every kid on the baseball team a trophy. China and all these other countries, they don't do that. So if you take 1920 to 1929, the economy was booming, just like our economy, booming, all fake, all fake. And then what happened? By 1932, 33, everything, what collapsed? The banking system collapsed. From 1929 to 1933, they did the same thing that we did. But their banking system collapsed, and Roosevelt let it go into collapse. And then what else did he do? He made sure that the banks no longer, and one reason why they went broke is because the banks took the depositors' money and speculated in the stock market. Can you imagine? A bank takes the, the money of its depositors and speculates in stocks? That's why they put the Glass-Steagall Act in to make sure they couldn't do that again. Well, guess what? Clinton comes in, and his boys from Wall Street came in, surrounded the White House, all the Wall Street boys, and they got rid of the Glass-Steagall Act, because that's exactly what they wanted to do. So, since 2008, we never did what they did in 32 and 33. Matter of fact, we got rid of the Glass-Steagall Act. Instead of keeping it, make it stronger. So, unlike 1933, depositors, okay, they didn't have to worry anymore. Because they also, remember, put in the F F uh, FDIC insurance. In other words, what they did, what Roosevelt did, is he made the system, the bank system, strong by making sure the bad banks went out of business. The bad businesses went out of business. See, when you keep on saving everybody, that's inflation. You can't do it. Now, fast forward to 2020, COVID. Oh, here we go again. We're going to save everybody again. 
print more money. The largest socialist plan in U.S. history. Everybody gets a $1,400 check. Child credit. Family with two kids receives $3,200 a month. Daycare. They all get a refund. $4,000 for a child. They get $8,000 for two kids. $300 per week, per week supplement check. No restrictions. You can go drink at the bar. This is what he did. This is what he did. Where's the money coming from? Not productivity. Not productivity. Coming from the printing machine. Print, 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 print. Free health insurance. Free daycare. Are you nuts? Guy who's making minimum wage three and a quarter, go work for the government, you're making eleven fifty. That's inflation. Now you understand why we only have a half a bag of potato chips? Who did that? Who did that? Biden. Biden did that. Then they go and print more money. Two million for a ski area, two million for a golf course, two fifty million for every ferry boat. Like they built like a hundred ferry boats. Fifty million each. Fifty million for a bird sanctuary. Half the potato chips, only half bag of potato chips. There's the problem. Then they start the omnibus bill. Seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars to install a fire alarm at the opera. Three million for the LGBTQ Museum. I don't know how many people are ever going to go see the LBGGQQB Museum. $200 million for a gender equity and uh, equality action fund. You, you see where I'm going? That's why your bag is half full. Now, and this city says he's mad? He caused all this. Moratoriums. More handouts. Two trillion handouts. Moratoriums. You didn't, have to, you didn't have to worry about paying your car payment. You didn't have to worry about paying your mortgage payment. You didn't have to worry about paying your student loan payment. You didn't have to worry about paying heat in, in your, in your uh, house or electricity. They took care of all that for you during the COVID. During the COVID. And, and never mind half bag of potato chips. What about the, the Toyota Tundra Pro? That went up 43% in two years. 43%. That's worse than potato chips. At least you can eat the chips, you can't eat the car. Want more information on this show? Go to philsgang.com or give them a call at 877-600-GANG. You want to invest your money and grow your wealth. How do you invest intelligently? Become a Phil's Gang member and receive the training, advice, and software that will take your investing to the next level. Phil's Gang software is easy to use, painless to navigate, and tells you exactly when to buy and sell to help maximize profits. Sign up for a 10-day free trial to see our platform in action. Learn more at philsgang.com. That's philsgang.com. If you want to invest your money and grow your wealth, just listen to Phil Grandy. Hi, I'm Phil Grant at philsgang.com. There's many reasons to listen to a radio show, but I think to listen to my show, you get the truth. You get clarity, and you get great information. No matter what level of investor you are, Phil's Gang strategies for investing are designed to put you on the path to success. You know what? Most of all, it's fun. philsgang.com. Clarity, good information, and fun. What does it take to be a successful investor in the stock market? Developing your skills and learning from an expert like Phil Grandy and philsgang.com. It doesn't have to be hard or complicated to learn how to invest in stocks properly. It's like anything else. You're going to golf, or you're going to learn how to play tennis, ski. You need to be with someone, learn off of them one-on-one. -on -one. Now that can be really expensive, cost thousands of dollars, but I have a program that you can join for 10 days free. Go to philsgang.com and sign up for a free 10-day trial. Phil Grandy has developed tools to teach you how to invest in stocks properly. Not only when to buy stocks, but how to sell stocks short. 85% of people in the market lose money. Get out of that group by just joining Phil's gang. Now you can learn to invest like a pro with a pro. Phil Grandy. 
Take advantage of this special offer for a free 10-day trial at philsgang.com. Try it. 10 days free. That's philsgang.com. philsgang.com. Want the truth when investing in the stock market? Here's how. Hi, I'm Phil Grandy at philsgang.com. Listen to my radio show every day because that's where you're going to get the truth. You're not going to get the truth listening to these dopes on Fake Business News Network. The other day, Kramer said, don't listen to the banks. They're giving you wrong information. When he told you to buy Merrill Lynch, remember? And what happened? They went broke. Get the truth at philsgang.com. Join my gang, philsgang.com. Get the truth. And also, listen to me on my podcast on YouTube and Rumble. That's philsgang.com. You want to invest your money and grow your wealth. How do you invest intelligently? Become a Phil's Gang member and receive the training, advice, and software that will take your investing to the next level. Our team is comprised of successful investors, all with proven track records. Phil's Gang software is easy to use, painless to navigate, and tells you exactly when to buy and sell to help maximize profits. Learn about common market mistakes and how to minimize them. Phil's Gang has successfully taught tens of thousands of investors how to navigate the market with confidence. You don't need to be a seasoned investor to benefit from the Phil's Gang platform, no matter what level of investor you are. Phil's Gang strategies for investing are designed to put you on the path to success. Sign up for a 10-day free trial to see our platform in action. Avoid market pitfalls and start winning with Phil's Gang. Learn more at philsgang.com. That's philsgang.com. Good investing means understanding how the stock market works. Hi, I'm Phil Grandy at philsgang.com. You know, if you really want to make sense of this market, you can't be listening to the fake business news network. They will not tell you the truth. They're to get you excited, to make sure you go out and you're happy so you'll buy something. That's not what we do here at Phil's Gang. We give you the truth, the direction, and that's what you need. Listen to me on my radio show each day and also on my Rumble and YouTube channel podcast. philsgang.com. That's Phil's Gang.com. Welcome back. Learn, invest, and make profits with Phil Grandy. Simply go to Phil'sGang.com. Now, here's Phil. Welcome back to Phil's Gang. So, in the next 24 hours, we'll know if there's going to be a rotation from the beloved tech stocks out of those, and we're going to go back to banks, we're going to go back to discretionary stocks, like your Ford and, and Ralph Lauren, those kind of stocks. This is only one day. One day it showed there's a rotation started today. They're going back to the banks, and they're going back to discretionary. But remember, one day doesn't make a trend. So... Why don't you join my gang? It's free for the next 10 days. You don't have to pay a penny. You get to use my three charts. My three charts. Get to use them. You get to learn how the market works, how to read a market, how to read a chart. And at the end of the day, if you decide not to stay with us, that's okay. Just when you do make money from our knowledge that you do help St. Jude once in a while. That's a fair deal, right? But go to my site, fieldsgang.com. Sign up. It's free. For 10 days, you get my charts. These are the charts I designed. And Willie and Steve, we all designed these charts. Not like the charts you, you get. Okay. They say we're going to make America great again. You can't. You can't make America great again until you do what? Well, you first have to get rid of QE. Make sure it's illegal. Put it away. Get rid of it. That is the biggest reason your potato chips during the Super Bowl, the bag was half. Half. We can't make America great again until we go back to the Glass-Steagall Act. We can't make America great again until we go back to where we have a gold standard. They only can print a dollar if they have a dollar's worth of gold. That keeps inflation down. We only can make America great again if we go and put in term limits, term limits, to get rid of these people. Get rid of these people in Washington. Get rid of them. And abolish the Federal Reserve. You know damn well they're not going to do any of that. So, the second option is join our gang and we'll deal with it. And it won't make any difference. These things won't make any difference. When you are a gang member, those aren't going to make any difference. You're still going to make money. 
you're still going to make money because you're going to know how to buy a stock properly. You're going to understand how the market works. You're going to understand what the bond market's doing so it tells you exactly what to do with your stocks. You're going to learn how when the market's going down, you're going to make money as the market's going down instead of sitting here losing money. Go to my site, philsgang.com. Join the gang, free for 10 days. Also remember my radio show, and I stream YouTube, and I stream Rumble. Okay, and YouTube and Rumble, and also Instagram and YouTube. I have my small, they're called shorts. These little one-minute guys, I put them up every day, and people love them. They're very, very helpful. People will love them. Okay, we get a lot of response, 12,000, 35,000. One, I got a million people <laughs> viewed it. But that's very helpful. So if you join the gang, all this stuff that's going on in the stock market and you're worried and all this stuff, don't worry about it. You don't have to worry about it anymore. Okay? And in 10 days, you'll be convinced. I'm not going to sell you. Willie's not going to sell you. Stephen's not going to sell you. You're going to sell yourself in 10 days. But the bottom line is this. Yes, we are going to have a crash. There's no way to avoid it. No way. It's getting worse and worse every day. If they do rotate to the banks, that will be the end of this rally because what's happening is the banks are in deep, deep trouble because, as I told you earlier, they never fixed them. They kept kicking the banks down the road, never fixed them. Since 2008, they haven't fixed them. Instead, they papered over it with QE, QE, QE. Here, go, get, go take the, the banks and give them money, and you take their garbage, and then they'll take the money and loan it to companies free, zero. And then those companies will buy their own shares and their stock will go up. They don't need profits. Do you know that a lot of these companies' stocks that were at $20, $25, now at $225 because of QE, because of QE. They didn't have to make any profits. They didn't have to. That's why you have to laugh over the earnings. They talk about earnings. What a bunch of nonsense that is. Earnings. Where's my earnings one? But at the end of the day, we've had a lot of really strong earnings. It's been a great earnings. That, that, that's a lie. No, we haven't. If you take the S&P 500, 493 stocks out of the 500 were negative. The earnings were negative. Negative. What's he talking about? He's just lying again. So if you come to our gang, you're going to learn. You're going to start out with our portfolio. We have six stocks in our portfolio, along with those six stocks, and we're in the best best six stocks in the, in the best sectors you want to be in, okay? And those six stocks each have two sister stocks, so we have a little inventory. And you're going to learn on those six stocks, and you're going to learn on, on the, the uh, sister stocks. And that's how you make money, by making sure you stay in just a small group of stocks all year long. All year long. So, for example, Apple, okay? That's one of our stocks. And, and then, again, another one of our stocks, of course, is our um, uh, Microsoft. That's another one of our stocks. And so I say we, got, we have six stocks, starting with Apple. Then we have AMD. Semiconductor, do we have JP Morgan represents our banks? And then we have MRO represents our oils, our energy. Then we have uh, industrials, Boeing represents our industrials. And lastly, uh, Hyatt, which, rep which represents our, our leisure stocks. So you got six sectors, and you have a stock in each one, and you got two extra stocks. Plus, you can just stay if you want in the spiders. Do nothing but the spiders. You say, I don't have time, Phil. I just don't have time to do this. We have thousands of members that do nothing but stay in the spiders. All year long, they're the spiders. They're either long making money, or when it's going down, they're short making money. And you can't say, I don't have time to do that, because it doesn't, what, what, you don't have to do a thing. We send you an alert all day long and tell you what to do. And you just contact your online broker and, and put your order in. We tell you whether to buy it, sell it, add to it, not to add to it, or short it. We do it all for you. And each year, on average, the S&P makes 10% return. That's just buy. When the S&P goes down, you're going to short it. 
and you'll make money. Your 401k, you can't do that. So, so yes, we're going to have a big crash, and it may be led by the banks because March, remember March is a hell of a month coming because not only do we have the banks, the 180 banks that have been borrowing money from the Federal Reserve out of their bank program, that money is due in March, and they, and they can't pay it back. They, they can't pay back the bank term funding program. And the other problem is the $6 trillion we have in commercial bad loans out there, debt, apartments, and business office, so forth, I think it's five or $600 billion is coming due in March. And they owe that money to the small regional banks that can't pay back the Federal Reserve. That's going to all collide. So today, when I saw them rotating to the banks, I'm laughing, going, oh, that's a great move. You're go going from, uh, you know, uh, fire into the, uh, from the pan into the fire. So how's that going to work? But see, the problem right now, they don't know what to do. Because they've been able to rally this market for, what, 17 years since 2008 using QE, using zero rates. They've been able to manipulate the market, financially engineer the market to go up, and now it's over. It's over. It's just a matter of time. Maybe they can move the stock market up another month, maybe two months. Maybe March comes in and they extend the loans to all these banks. I don't know. But I can tell you this. It's going to be a big crash because they've been doing this too long now. And they haven't fixed anything. You got to fix it, like what Roosevelt did. He fixed it. He said the bank's going down. Let them go down. You think if COVID came, Roosevelt would have sent checks out to everybody for fourteen hundred dollars and and, and tell me, oh, you didn't have to pay your student loan. You didn't have to pay this. You didn't have to pay that. You don't have to pay your rent. No. No, because he believed. Look, the weak, you go away. The strong, you reward them and make them stronger, then your country becomes stronger. Your economy becomes stronger. Our economy right now is mush. It's just plain mush. It looks like the brain that we look at is scaling. You, look at the scaling like you. you have been listening to Phil's Gang with your host, Phil Grandy, on the Off the Wall Street Radio Network. Off the Wall Street Radio Network. Remember to visit Phil's website at philsgang.com. That's philsgang.com. Or call the office, 877-600-4264. That's 877-600-4264. It's up to me.